Hey guys, Ru here with Naravid for Blender. This one we're gonna be talking about Kitops Pro 2 update and some new inserts for Kitops Pro 2 and also how to use Kitops Pro 2 and inserts with hardops because that actually makes it much easier. Now once you download Kitops you will see that there is a new menu here that's favorites menu. If you click on um, this bar here you'll see all the linked inserts that you have linked to Kitops and you have to link them through preferences through the add-on menu. So watch uh, Cheap Walter's video on this one on the website where you bought it from, so either Blender Market on Gumroad. There are very detailed videos on how to do this. Now the insert packs of new um, icons, they're really easy to understand. You got you know bullions, plus and minus, so union and cut, you got solids, you got cables, etc. Now if you wanted to add them to um, to favorites here, you simply need to select an um, insert pack that it's not there yet. So let's say cables or maybe these ones, right? And you can see the star is not highlighted. If you click that, it's gonna get added to the bar here to the top. And um, you can use it from here with ease. So let's say, let's go to solids. And now you can see that you have different solid shapes. These are basic ones. And these are with modifiers. It kind of reminds me of the special shapes or smart shapes from hard ops um, up here. So you can add them to your scene and press control. You can change, you know, the size of bevels, uh, whatnot uh, of these uh, of these shapes, okay? So now let's talk about how to use these inserts because they're quite interesting. So if I click here and add one of these, let's say this one to the scene, you see that if I go to modifier stack here, it consists of three modifiers, okay? So there is a bevel, there is a weld modifier, and there's another bevel. And, you know, in order to adjust any of these values, so we need to open the modifier, respective modifier, and adjust values. But because I'm using hard ups, you know, you, if you're a proud member of the hard ups master, master race, <laughs> uh, you can do it very easy from the Q menu. So you simply select an object, press Q and go to bevel. And if you adjust one bevel, if you press Q, you can start adjusting the other bevel, okay? If you're gonna add third bevel, so you can press Q and hold control and click on bevel, you're gonna add the third bevel, the thin one on top of this, you know, these edges here. So now you got three bevels, okay? So again, you go to Q, bevel, you can adjust this one, press Q, you can adjust this one, press Q, and you can cycle through them, okay? Which is really cool. So that's one. If you want to add material, very easy, Alt-M and then blank material, or you can also add material through KitOps. If you, for example, have a packs like definitely EV material a pack, which is also amazing, and it works with KitOps, it was made for KitOps, so it's also, you can find it on Cheap Walter's store. And links, of course, are in the video description, so you can snatch it there. All right, so uh, let's see what we can do with this, right? So now let's go to Boolean inserts. And now if I'm going to try to add these inserts to the ship, it will not work, okay? It's going to add it somewhere in the bottom. And the reason for it is that simply you cannot insert to an insert. So what you need to do is you need to select the shape, you need to go here and remove Kitops props, which will remove the uh, basically the uh, insert props from this insert. Now it's a mesh. So now you can select it and you can add insert and when you hover over a mesh, you can you know just slap it whatever you want. Now, you can either choose to which part of the mesh you want it to snap, so face, edge, vertex, etc. Or you can press keys, like for example, um, F for face, okay? Uh, e for edge, right? Or V for vertex and you can say for example click on f and c which is gonna snap to the center of a given face okay let's try it again so select this one add insert and click and scale it down and uh, we're gonna add weight and almost so go to q and i'll click on sharpen and even you can adjust bevels of this uh, insert using hard ups so it's really convenient okay Great, so let's remove this one, so press H. So now if you wanted to adjust the bevel on this uh, insert, on this cut, you can see that it's not catching all the angles, I mean all the edges, because the angles are too shallow for the outer smooth to catch it. But you can very easily adjust it in hard ups, okay? So go to Q and go to bevel, right, this one, okay? And what you can do is press and hold Alt and scroll your mouse until uh, the bevel is caught by the outer smooth and, you know, you're done. So 
let's just make it a bit bigger and there you go you got a bevel now if you wanted to for example copy this to the other side let's say mirror this you can't really i mean physically right now if you wanted to duplicate this okay uh, via shift d and uh, move it somewhere here you see that this cutout is not being um, copied because that's still live bullion which means this insert is a cutter running on this mesh but with hard ops what you can do you can shift d okay cancel with the right mouse button then press q and go to operations and click on uniquify which will basically uh, assign a separate cutter to that mesh and parent it at the same time so when i move it you can see now i get a duplicate with that cutter being live okay so it's live on both shapes right so i can now uh, rotate it by 180 and now i got two shapes running this way okay so now i'm going to show you another cool feature of this new kit ops uh, which is uh, a gravity cable so kind of cable with physics okay it's really fucking awesome so i'm gonna add a plane here all right and make it bigger and i'm gonna add some color to it let's go to uh, look at that it's gonna look a bit cooler and we're going to let's make this a bit darker because it's a bit dull so let's make it darker and let's make this one a bit brighter it's gonna be a bit better all right cool now let's select this one okay and we're going we're gonna go to our cable so you can actually go to favorites because i saved it and we're going to click on one of these now you got all kinds of inserts here so i recommend you just kind of you know play with them but the inserts on the top here you got cables and you got wires and you got um, the collision cables and wires so this is really cool now we're gonna add a collision cable all right to this so you're going to click on that and add insert and you can hover over the faces we're going to add it to this face okay so now let's go to edit mode okay and you see that this cable is uh, composed out of verts so you can kind of move them and sort of adjust the you know shape of this cable so let's go to x-ray mode which you can turn on on it by machine tool so you can toggle it in here toggle toggle it on and off in here and you see you're gonna see verts right you can you know just kind of move them and adjust this cable now this is important okay these two verts at the end of each cable so these two and these two uh, have vert groups assigned to them and it's quite important because uh, these verts will be unaffected by the uh, by the physics okay so when you're gonna be extending this cable make sure that you're gonna drag these first okay or you're gonna reassign um, these um, vert group to the last two verts on the cable so usually what I do is I'm going to GZ, uh, GX these two right and I'm going to subdivide this edge twice so subdivide it and shift R to get verts in the middle here so I can adjust this cable if I want to so now what we're gonna do we're gonna open the timeline so I'm gonna go down here and scroll it up and I'm gonna go to timeline here and if I'm gonna play that thing you see it's gonna uh, you know dangle down right the problem is that it doesn't really collide with the with the floor so what we need to do is go here click on the floor and add a collision modifier and then you simply replay the animation one more time and now it's going to collide with the floor now the cool thing about this cable is that you can you know you can readjust it so you can select the cable and you can you know you can edit it and the way you want right and it's pretty cool and of course you're gonna to have to replay the animation right so let's replay this and boom so you can create for example uh, something like this okay with ease which is really awesome right and the cool thing about it is that you can keep stacking this cable so you can uh, select the cable and convert it to mesh so ctrl a and convert it to mesh and you can create more cables on top of it and if you assign a collision modifier to that cable like you did to the floor now this one and this one's gonna be you know uh, a collision object okay so the cables you're gonna add on top of it they're gonna collide with the with the uh uh, with this one now the only caveat to this is that it's really difficult to change the width of this cable but um, you have different uh, thickness of this cable different variants of this cable these ones by the way should also be um, equipped with the collision modifier let's do this again let's do the collision here there you go and actually the collision here as well okay and let's replay this animation so from the start okay Ah, we applied the cable already, unfortunately. Well, we can go back in time. 
let's go back in time a little bit there we go and let's apply collision here and let's apply collision here now we can replay this and i think it's going to be better there you go now you see it doesn't collide with uh, with this edge here so it's a really cool toy guys and it's really fantastic for sci-fi now you got stuff like cables that are baked which means you can add them uh, to the surface as a, as an insert so it's a baked you know kind of like a bunch of cables all right you can just drop them on the floor and they will look awesome and like i said you can put them underneath so let's just let's just let me show you okay so let's put this cable up okay up here let's move them on x-axis here right or y-axis there you go and let's collision at the collision modifier to these ones okay and with this one prepared okay we can play the animation one more time and you can see now that this cable is going to be colliding okay it's going to be colliding with uh, with the the bunch of cables here on the floor so you can create some really cool scenes very quickly uh, you know with ease okay so anyway guys that's it for this one a uh, link to kitops pro 2 and uh, definitely even materials if you need it in the video description everything is on cheap walter's store highly recommend it if you don't have hard ups and box cutter links also in the video description let me tell you that you know uh, master zeon works very closely on kitops with uh, cheap walters so um these add-ons work very well together and i've been using them for a very long time and then extremely useful so uh, when you use hard ups don't forget it that you know these inserts uh, from kitops behave like an geo so you can use uh, hard ups to your advantage and you know have a lot of fun and just work much faster than usual because you know no one wants to fuck with modifiers they're not hot enough all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video